when you need a little boost to achieve your goals. Get energized from a powerful inspirational flow. Download Motivation Hub and get unique life-changing quotes. Dissect your successes and the reciprocity of gratitude. We so often focus on failure, don't we? When we study failure, we obsess with failure, we dissect failure and our failures. We dissect them so much we end up intoxicated with them to the point of disillusion. I mean, when do we write in our diary? Usually when we're depressed. What do we gossip about? Other people's flaws and limitations. I mean, we can dissect ourselves into self-loathing if we're not careful. I find that most of the times our obsession with what is wrong just ends up breeding more wrong, more failure. Now, the easiest way to dissect success is through gratitude, giving thanks for that which we do have, for what is working, appreciating the simple things we sometimes take for granted. We give thanks for these things, and that gratitude reciprocates, creating more to be thankful for. It's really simple, and it works. Now, I'm not saying be in denial of your failures. No, we can learn from them too, but only if we look at them constructively as a means to reveal what we are good at, what we can get better at, what we do succeed at. Now, personally, I've read a whole lot of my bad reviews. Right? I've had quite a few. Written by the more talented critics, they are the ones who give constructive bad reviews. They reveal to me what did translate in my work, what came across, what was seen, or what wasn't. Now, I don't obsess on the unfavorable aspect of their review, but I do seek what I can learn from it. Because their displeasure actually uncovers and makes more apparent what I do do well, what I am successful at, and then I dissect that. Our life's a verb. We try our best, we don't always do our best. But architecture is a verb as well. Yes, it is. And since we are the architects of our own lives, let's study the habits, the practices, the routines that we have that lead to and feed our success, our joy, our honest pain, our laughter, our earned tears. Let's dissect that and give thanks for those things. And when we do that, guess what happens? We get better at them and we have more to dissect. Make voluntary obligations. All right, mom and dad, since we were young, they teach us things as children. Teachers, mentors, the government, and laws, they all give us guidelines for which to navigate this life. Rules to abide by in the name of accountability. I'm not talking about those obligations. I'm talking about the ones that we make with ourselves, with our God, with our own consciousness. I'm talking about the you versus you obligations. We have to have them. Now again, these are not societal laws and expectations that we acknowledge and endow for anyone other than ourselves. These are faith-based obligations that we make on our own. These are not the lowered insurance rates for a good driving record. You will not be fined or put in jail if you do not gratify these obligations I speak of. No one else governs these but you. They are your secrets with yourself, your own private counsel, personal protocols. And while nobody throws you a party when you abide by them, no one's going to arrest you when you break them either, except yourself or some cops who got a disturbing the peace call at 2.30 in the morning because you were playing bongos in your birthday suit. <laughs> that was me. An honest man's pillow is his peace of mind. And when you lay down on that pillow at night, no matter who's in your bed, we all sleep alone. These are your personal Jiminy Crickets. And there are not enough cops in the entire world to police them. It's on you. It's on you.